There's stuff shifting around in there, guys. That's a good, good sign. Okay. Jeez, I like the box, too. Neat piece right here. Mm-mm, there's something in here. Does that not scream pirate treasure to you? Okay. What is this? Another piece of 300 that's a matching piece, too. Wow. British coal mining. Okay, what's in this one? <laughs> whoa, 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 what? <laughs> not what I was expecting. Oh, guys. This looks interesting. Oh boy, what is this? This this is interesting. Oh, oh, cash box, guys, what? Oh, we have a locked box and it is full of something. Oh, I see some stuff in there. All right, guys, well, we did it again. We bought a locker online. Actually, we bought two. Let me show you what we got. First up is this one right here, 530 bucks. This is the one I wanted. It's a five by 10. And let's see, it says shelving, automotive parts, TV boxes, lighting. I don't know if I see really that kind of stuff. I see other stuff I like. Like, look at this right here. Some wood boxes that are saran wrapped, plastic wrapped. And I see like a produce or maybe cigars or something right there. An old wood box. I like it. I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, look at those. Interesting right here. Really interesting in my opinion. Bunch of boxes in the back. And they. I see the tape. They're all taped up. All right, like that too. Here's uh, some sort of mobility scooter, it looks like right here, one of those electric scooters. And I don't know what that is right there, but it's got like a metal fish right there. It almost looks Asian, but what is that? Is that a walk or something? There's some piece of wood right here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. There's another shot. There's the, looks like the key in this scooter, which is great. Last time I bought one of those, it didn't have a key. Actually, the two times before, it didn't have keys. Now let me show you the other one I got. This one, 750 bucks. Dang it, I didn't really want this one as much. Uh, it it looks better like you see right there it's got trunks and stuff I like it uh, chairs steamer trunk toolboxes kitchen items I like the toolboxes but I don't like it enough to spend 750 I like trunks but not enough to spend 750 plus see how the trunk right here is plastic wrapped I have a feeling it's empty and those two also most likely empty I actually like this piece a little better See this old chair right there I like it it's got a cool look to it um, older toolboxes who knows? Could be all right. This is kitchen spices. Not interested in that. This old wood box right there looks interesting. And then, of course, in the very back, there's a little black and yellow tote. You know, I love those black and yellow totes. So who knows? But right here, clothing, I just, I don't like this as much. But see the writing right there? That looks to me to be the same as the writing on this one. See, I don't know. It looks, looks the same. So yeah, right there, it looks very similar. Jana thought maybe is the same owner uh, and... Upon further inspection, I think she was right. So I had to get the second one. And the one I wanted closed first. I was happy with the price I paid. The second one closed like 10 minutes later and that one was going up and I'm not happy with the price I paid on that. I would have paid more for the first one than the second one, but I wound up doing the opposite, but whatever. I got them both. If one turns out good, I'd kick myself for not getting the second. And I called the facility and he said, yes, they were owned by the same person. So let's see what we got, guys. We got either a couple good ones or a couple stinkers. Uh, we're gonna find out right now. All right, guys, you just opened the two. Okay, we got this one right here and um oh this looks good so these are little these are five by tens uh pretty pretty manageable right why did they say auto part oh look at this <laughs> i did not see that in the photos you couldn't see that and i like that a lot a lot a lot i don't remember the last time I, this this is really interesting right here. what is this okay we gotta wait on that don't we don't we have to wait? I think we do. All right, I don't know. There's the scooter, and yes, it looks like it's got the key in it. I'm really happy about that. Really, 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 really happy. Well, this piece of wood is way bigger than I looked on the photo. It's actually a shelf, that's what that is. And this little file cabinet, this is cool. Ooh, this is good. Why do they say car parts? I think that probably scared some people off. I don't even see any car parts. Okay, the other one's down here, and he opened them for me, so. I didn't open them. Usually I like to open them, do the little dramatic door opening. Uh, yeah. Okay. This one is, I can't believe I paid more for this one than the other one. This one's not even half full. And I'm talking about the, the top half, right? It, that matters. That matters. This, I do like this. It's cool. It's like a 
for the garage or something. That is old. That is very old. I really like that piece. I probably won't keep it, but I definitely like it. And uh, right here. Oh, that's nice. So we got uh, this facility. Is, we're in Dublin right now, Dublin, California. And this, this whole corridor right here is super windy. Really windy section of this area that I live in. And uh, when I step out right here, we're getting just a blast of wind stepping here. I'm sure it's messing up the audio. Um, I'm going to have to be conscious of that. Maybe we can put the truck up here and block the wind a little bit. But, well, we'll see what we can do. This right here. Oh, my goodness. This looks brand new. I think it is brand new. I think maybe that's why this is here. Look at the tape on here. This is brand new. Wait, <laughs> that's gross. Is it butter or something? Mm. Okay, there's a little bit of funky smell in here. Not, not bad. More like just a spice. That is brand stinking new, right there. Galans. How much is that worth? I think that's a hundred dollar bill right there. Household refrigerator model number GLR311S1EO2. Hopefully we get a comp on that. Figure out eh, value ish, right? Figure it out. Oh man. Okay. Okay. This looks. This looks. Oh, that's. Oh well. Can't tell if that's empty or not. This might be. Weighing it down, and that is what it says. The guy's good about that labeling spices, okay? But this that's a neat looking trunk right there. Usually, they are bigger, and I don't think they're full. That box is just as interesting as I hoped it would be in the photos. Couldn't get a real clear shot of it. That's that's cool looking little stool. I mean, they, they said chairs in here, so in the description, chairs. It's like, okay, hey. I think this is upside down. Okay, I'm flipping it around. I don't know. I don't know what side's up. Actually, maybe that was right. There's stuff shifting around in there, guys. That's a good, good sign. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good sign. That don't mean it's good stuff. Ah, it's kitchen, kitchen stuff. Hmm. More spices. More spices. Kitchen utensils in there. In there. Cholula. All right. It's a cool trunk. Actually, that trunk would be something I'd probably take to like De Anza or the antique market. You know what, guys? One thing I'm realizing I forgot to bring was garbage cans. I really blew it. I blew. Whoa. Pot some pot of pasta. Pot and pot and pasta. Pot and pasta. Pot and pasta. There's the pot. And there's the pasta. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. Wait, what is this? Chef's counter. This is a cast iron piece right here. Like a enamel over cast iron. That's a nice piece right there. It actually is. It weighs a ton. Chef's counter. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, I'm going to put that aside. That's got some potential. I'll definitely want to look that up. The pasta right here. It can just go to the flea market. All right. That's nice. See that umbrella stand right there? It's cool. It's got a little weight. Whoa. That's kind of neat right there. Metal. Okay, another piece I'm going to put aside. Oh, okay, guys. This is way better. I moved the van up, the door and everything. Uh, it, de it blocks almost all the wind. So much better. Okay, let's get in here and see what we got. Okay. Ooh. Wait. Wait. Oh. Never mind. I thought that was I thought that was a magazine for a, a something, a gun or something. That's not. It's just tools. Okay. Got a little excited. Can't blame me. I am excited. And that's a first aid kit. Alright. Okay. You know what? Hang on. Let me I need to get the table out and work. Or I, I clear this off. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, you know what? Actually I did peek in here a little more. And oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That, <laughs> what the heck? Do you see what's in here? I thought that, I thought, I, I was wondering what was in there. There's a ton of bud. That's some bud right there. It's all dried out. I don't think that's worth anything to anybody, but uh, kind of funny to find that in here though. In here. <laughs> that spices. I guess that's just what it is. <laughs> all right, let's get this. Oh, nothing there. And just a bracket there. Okay. That's actually a nice box, though. The box is going to sell. That's a few bucks. 
Let's see this ten dollar box right there. Okay, that that's a nice looking toolbox right there. I kind of like those. Right now though, I'm gonna get this guy out so I can work. Wow, that trunk is huge right there. That has got some potential. I want to be kind of careful with this because I do not want to bash up that front. It's pretty. There we go. That's pretty good. I'm going to bring that home and get that listed ASAP. I think I can plug that in and test it and get that listed. Oh, this. Okay, so this umbrella stand is really neat looking. Shape of the umbrella. I, I really dig that. However, we're missing a leg on that. That's a real bummer. I'll maybe we can get something fitted for that, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, if I don't find it in here, I'm probably just taking that to Stockton, blowing it out. But it's such a cool looking piece. I'm a little bummed by that. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, it's tools. Yeah, you got some stickers on here. I like it. These are useful right there. Okay, what do we got here? Metric wrenches. Yeah, that's nice. Craftsman. Oh, yeah, hot dang. That's really nice. Uh oh, <laughs> no, I didn't. Can't get it to close. Okay, crossing wrenches are very, very good. Dominoes, whatever. And that's some. Oh, that's neat. What a neat looking hammer. It's a good piece right here too. All right, cool. All right, so this is called Lumador. Lumador. It seems nicer. Looks like there used to be a lock on this. It's been broke off. Yeah, this guy's organized. I definitely dig this guy's, uh, you know, pride and ownership. All right, wood chisel sets. <laughs> you can carve that into the wood box. I love it. And that's what we got. Got some wood chisels. Nice. Jeez, I like the box, dude. Huh. Empty. Almost. Just a couple bits left in there. Whole saw kit, those are great. Soldering irons, those are nice. It's a very nice handle right there. Okay, single pack of padlocks right here. Huh, I only see one key there. I bet you they're all keyed the same though. Wire connectors, what's this? Wire connectors, Some measuring tape, a chalk, I think it's a chalk line. Oh, this is good. Mag light. It's not an LED. The newer ones have the LED bulbs in there. This is the older one, but man, these are great. Mm-hmm. Hey, they're not even popped. Let's see if it works. Oh my goodness, it still works. Okay, how long, I wonder how long this has been sitting here, because it kind of makes you think it hasn't been here that long. Hmm. Nice. Well, what are those? It's little punches or something? Yeah. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. It's been a while since we sold tools in our live auction. Maybe some of this will get into our live auctions. I don't know. Um, okay, there's some Allen wrenches. These are nice. Oh, Klein tools. That's good, right? Klein tools, I think, is good. I think Klein tools is really good. Ideal Industries, it's not Klein. Ideal and Klein. I might be inclined to put the Klein aside. Get it? I think those are nice box cutter right there. The blade's gone, but that's got a nice handle to it. Pipe cutter. Stud finder. Should I do it, guys? Tell me don't do it. Say don't act. Don't do it. I gotta do it. Let's try it. Mm-mm. No. Unfortunately, it's defective. Batteries must be too old. Did not detect this stud right here. That's a nice little level. I'm not sure what that's for, but it looks old. Whoa. I'm not sure what this is, but that feels nice and old. Okay. This looks good. Erega Craftsman. I'm gonna follow the Craftsman inside. That's nice. That's pretty cool. Diamaloy. It's made in the USA. That looks expensive. Bench top. That's pretty nice. That's interesting. This is interesting. That is definitely old right there. Whoa! This is cool. Stilson. It says Stilson. USA, baby. That's neat. This also looks very old, right here. I might put some of the older stuff aside. All trade, it's Taiwan though. It's good stuff. There's another one of these. I'm not sure what that is, but that feels expensive. Thorson, hmm, I don't know what that is either. It looks expensive. <laughs> that is cool. That is cool. Hmm. 
All right, guys, as we're going through and finding these old tools, it reminded me of something. This is funny. So I asked my friend Mike, the storage auction pirate, uh, what he thought about this. I sent him the link to the online auction and said, what do you think about this one? I just bought it. And he said, I said, what do you think's in there? Because he is really, he's the, better than anyone I know that uh, can read a locker and kind of have a good guess as to what's inside. I said, what do you think's in there? Is there gold in there? That's what I really want to know. So he gave me some predictions of what he thought was going to be there. So check this out. He says he thinks it was some kind of old dude. That was my read on it. You will find cool stuff. Old hand working tools for sure. And that's what he said. That's what we've already found. Of course, toolboxes. There's going to be tools, but uh, yeah, the hand working tools is funny, right? I said, will it have gold? He says, at least a 1950s class ring, maybe a gold cross, possibly an old woman's bracelet that could be eight carat, but also gold filled. These are very specific predictions. Should be a few cool canes or umbrellas. I found an umbrella stand. For, that's close enough in my opinion. Probably some yearbooks from the 40s or 50s. Small amount of military items from his service. Maybe his dad's military flag from service. And the toolboxes will have old craftsman tools. And we've already found that. And he told me I can announce these predictions before we get started. Well, we, I didn't before we started, but we we're just barely getting into it. So already he's been right on two fronts. And uh, I hope he's right on all fronts. But uh, we won't know until we get through the rest of it. Let's keep digging. Oop, forgot we got a couple more things to look at. What's in this fossil box? Okay, exacto knives. Helping hand. That's a little box cutter. All right, some blades. Yeah, speaking of blades, I missed this one, didn't I? I saw it, but I just didn't go through it. Stainless steel on that side. No brand on there. But that thing is, uh, this side's not sharp. This side's wicked sharp. Like, wicked sharp. All right, I think I'll let that go. All right, so... That's a nice pry bar right there. I've got so many pry bars. I, I, I love them. I feel like keeping it, but I've already got so many. That's a neat old hammer right there, too. The machinist hammer, it says. Ooh, I like this. That almost looks like it's expensive, but I don't know. I don't know. All right. Good little box. Okay. The box below, it's just empty upside down. Uh, we'll just leave that there for now. Okay, got appears to be a clothing bag here. Oh, okay. I didn't know what to expect here. Right off the bat, we got a, a Columbia shirt. It's good quality. Columbia. We love finding Columbia stuff. That's in probably 10 bucks at the good market. Probably, probably. Put that aside for now. That's a good start. Tarot cash made in Australia. What the heck? Let's get these out. Okay. This is a pretty good start. Made in Australia. It feels like it's a good quality. It's nice and heavy. Jerseys right here. That's just whatever. No brand. The tag's been torn out. Ooh, what's this? Bro Brotley. Okay. It's polyester, but it's still kind of neat. The embroidery down here. It's cool. Yeah, this is neat. No boundaries. Okay. Made in Cambodia. I like those little tassels on there. The pull strings. That's cool. Not tassels, but pull strings. That's a nice sweatshirt. Freedom Foundry. Huh. It's decent. And Grizzly Mountain. That's nice. That's a warm shirt right there. Ooh, this is heavy. <clears throat> what is this? Feels like a canvas bag in here, but it's very heavy. Wait. I almost feel like I heard liquid in there. Okay, it's a tool bag. I'm not sure why it's in a plastic bag, but... <laughs> Could have just tore that open, but whatever. A little Sony boombox. Okay, some tools. That's nice. Channel lock, made in the USA. Lennox, made in the USA. Country Blues Harmonica. New Britain, made in the USA. What the heck, this is some good USA tools. That's China right there, but. Yeah, good stuff right here. Good stuff. And when I say good stuff, I mean this is gonna sell really well at the market. Yeah, I don't see anything like amazing in here that we need to pull out or anything, but we got good flea market stuff right here. There's another Made in the USA Craftsman. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to put a few of these tools aside. I feel like I should. That's a nice little channel lock. A little tiny one. Made in the USA. Alright. Got a bunch of... Oh. little flashlight right here. Hmm. Oh, neat. Look at this. Hmm. A lot going on, but that's cool. USA right there on those sockets. That's nice. Yeah, this is a nice one right here. I'm gonna put that aside. 
I'm gonna put a few of these aside. We may do some tools in our live auction. I'm always looking for the live auction stuff to sell. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about or why I'm talking about it, we do sell a lot of stuff in live auctions. That's where you can go and bid. Oh, this is neat too, there's another level. Master Mechanic made in the USA. So, um, yeah, I try to, I mean, that's why we buy these lockers, really. Is, it's the better stuff. That's where we make our money. You know, all the lower end flea market stuff doesn't add up to a whole heck of a lot. I'd say like the top five to ten percent of the items that come out of these lockers are, are where we make our money and, and what you know supports our business and our family. And the best stuff we find we sell in a live auction. Rocket Boss Gate Mouth. That was probably an expensive bag originally. So when we do find the good stuff, and that's what I'm looking for right now, some good stuff, uh, we're gonna pull that out and put it in a live auction. And by live auction, I mean the best stuff we're gonna be putting in a whatnot auction. So as I'm going through this, guys, I'll tell you about our whatnot. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Got water bottles with uh, bits in them. That's cool. Uh, drills, all types. This is a leather bag too. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff probably not. I don't know. I know there's a lot of money in these. Uh, maybe I will put these bits aside. Shoot, there are so many. Got a bunch of keys. Look at this thing. I think that's for, I think that's like a ring. Man, if you punch someone with that, is that what that's for? Mm, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll put our best stuff into whatnot. If you guys haven't, I'm sure you've heard us talking about it, but maybe this is like your first time. That's good. I actually need a set of this in my storage locker. And I made a note to myself to bring one from home. And now I don't have to because I got it right stinking here. I'm going to put it right here before I forget. That needs to go in my locker. I need to work on stuff some really good ones there too yeah so who knows we might actually there's a whole bunch more drill bits there so uh we may put all these in as one big lot in, the, in an auction on whatnot why not we haven't tried it yet but they just added that we could do flat rate shipping but before i get ahead of myself and talk about the details guys whatnot itself it's a app for your phone for your tablet you could do it on the computer but really they built it for a uh mobile device and it's great we've been selling great stuff there mostly collectibles but some household stuff too and you go there you bid it's fast it's fun we do like one uh 20 second auctions they're just 20 seconds uh so when we show the item we hit the auction 20 seconds later it's closing that's neat Ooh, little buttons right there simple this is like sewing stuff here we might sell a box in the sewing. Is a sewing lot? I don't know. Man, we have a lot of fun on whatnot, uh, both selling and buying. Jan and I buy on whatnot also. We have a great time. It's it's it really is super, super. <laughs> it is super. It's Taiwan. Not too impressed with that. What is this? That looks like stainless steel to me. That does not look like silver. But I'm gonna put it aside just in case. Just in case. Put it in there. That's my keeper box. So like that kind of stuff, we'll go home and we'll sort it out and, and decide what we're going to put on what not. There's a light bulb. There's some little threads. Thread. Do, 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 do. We like old buttons and stuff, but most of this is just regular stuff. Yeah, because we want our what not shows to be fun and really have special stuff there. And we're, we're usually spot on with that. That's the feedback we've gotten anyways, that we do put on a fun show. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, please try it. We will put the link in this video so you can just click on it and go over to whatnot. Um, you could just go and search for whatnot too in your app store and install it. But I will tell you this, if you use our link when you register for the first time, you will get $15 for free. That's a spending credit they're going to give you just for trying out the platform, just for going and having some fun with us. And I'll tell you, that's a pretty good offer. That is on Whatnot. That's not from us. That's what they do generously to you know, invite people over to try out the platform. They're going to give you 15 bucks to spend. You can spend it with us. You can spend it with someone else. We don't care. We don't mind. Spread the love around because there's a lot of great auctions going on, not just ours. There's a lot of them. They're going around like 24 hours a day, basically seven days a week and you can buy almost anything under the sun let's see what this is uh, home depot apron oh maybe work to home depot okay this this box probably just go to the flea market i didn't see anything too amazing there and really when i saw these lockers online i thought you know what there could be some there could be some whatnot stuff in there that's how i think i'm looking for the stuff to sell on the whatnot whoa look at all these batteries oh i hope those are good still because that's gonna save me a few bucks these ones i don't use that much these we use all the time oh there's another thing we use all the time lint roller yep 
Oh, this is kind of neat. Aluminum uh, mug right here. But it is it's dented, unfortunately. It's got the glass bottom on it. It's a nice mallet. <laughs> I get impressed easy. There's another aluminum piece right there. This this will sell at the market for sure. That's ten bucks probably. What is this? I'm not sure what these things are. They look expensive though. That's kind of neat. That's a, a key holder, a key whatever. Right. Yeah, put there's the nail holes right there. Hang that on the wall. It's brass. It's for hanging your keys. I like that. The scraper. What is this? Oh, that's got a sharp edge. That's for that's more woodworking hand tools. I think it's for like uh, gouging out like a whatever you know out of the wood. There you go, Mike. Hand uh, hand tools for woodworking right there. I think this one's for. Uh, apple coring or something like that. Probably a vintage piece. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh man, look at all those bits. We got a ton more bits. They look pretty good too. Man, do we need more bits? We already found a whole bunch. Yeah, I'll probably let these ones go to the market. Okay. All right. This there's a couple things going on here. A stool with this basket, probably like a laundry basket or something. I think like I could see like a fabric liner going in there. But then we got these metal pieces here that are for. Uh, some sort of shelving. Let's get this guy out. Ooh, this is a neat looking one with wheels, huh? Actually, look at this. This is cool. Somebody fabricated this piece. These, this does not normally come on these boxes. They fabricated this metal brackets right here into a base and put wheels on it. That is really neat. Very functional. Oh, but it doesn't feel like there's anything in here. Neat piece right here. Oh, cool. It's an old one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, guys. These just, they're a hard sell at the market. I'll tell you what. They do not sell very easy. This one's got more potential. Yeah, that's not full. <laughs> There's something shifting around inside, but I'd say it's probably a blanket or something. This is, this is nice. I don't really want to unwrap it right now. Because I like that it's, I like that it's wrapped up. This one's got a beautiful look to it, though. It's just this right here. Maybe that can be cleaned off. Oh, that's gonna clean right off. Look at that. Yeah, that's just something spilled on there. So, okay. That is pretty. That might be one to save for the better flea market. This one, I mean, the base is the coolest thing about it, but the rest of it's like, man. This, maybe we sell for, sell at uh, Dianza or something. Possibly. <clears throat> mm, mm there's something in here. Yeah, that's, that is a cool. Does that not scream pirate treasure to you? <laughs> that one just got such a cool look. Oh, this is good. I thought that was broken, but it actually has just come off the nails right there. So, not ripped. The leather straps are almost always ripped on these. Okay. What is this? Oh, this definitely wasn't empty. What am I thinking? Oh, we got quite a bit there. <laughs> okay. These Meslan, these do not look cheap. They don't look cheap. I mean, they, I, I'm not talking about the style. I'm just talking about the sole, leather sole on those. Mario de Girard. And, whoa. Actually, I just noticed the metal embellishments on these. Oh, cool. Hmm. Huh. Neat. They mess us? No. A little too big for me. Murphy by Johnston and Murphy. Hmm. Interesting. These, were, these are interesting with the metal tips and stuff. So, what's this? Oh. This is interesting. That's a, yeah. Always check to make sure there's no breakage. You just run your fingertip over and know if there's a tip that snapped off. There is not. That is in good condition. It's a little sailboat. Glass sculpture. That's nice. We sell glass very well in our live auctions and I was just talking about the live auction to you guys. That's a piece that we will put into the live auction that makes it fun. That'll go to the market. Mm. All right, just went in and got the helping hand. See if it delivers on its promise. <laughs> it's easier than using my pocket knife. I have a feeling this couple of maybe family photos or something. Oh, no. Yeah. It's a painting right there. Some sailboats or some fishing boats or something. That's a golf course. Augusta, number 13. Hmm. Nice frames. And man, kudos to that guy for how he packed these things. I've, I don't know if I've seen them packed in foam like that with styrofoam. That's definitely the right way to do it. OK. 
Okay. Okay, this is, okay, this is a numbered piece out of 300. This is number 134. Deep Blue Water, it's called. Dawn Swarm, or Swan. That's kind of neat. Nice frame, too. Stuff's in great condition. Gay 90s. This is, uh, oh, wait, what? Huh, they have a Gay 90s uh, restaurant here in Pleasanton, not far from here. And they have great pizza. This one's in Minnesota, or Minneapolis, Minnesota. Menu. Okay. Probably something that means something personal to him. Not to me, though. Hornblower Cruises. Hmm. When I had an advertising business, we did some advertising for Hornblower Cruises. It's a neat frame. We'll get that back to the office and sell the frame. Okay. Oh, look at this. Funny. Archie Bunker's card game. <laughs> that is vintage. Wow. 1972. Holy smokes. That is, uh, that's something we'll put aside. Love the old stuff. Two lanterns with two matching sconces. That doesn't sound very interesting, but let's take a peek. Mm. Okay. It's brass. That is, that is cool. That looks old, too. It's wrapped in some t-shirts here, some golden t-shirts. Oh, dang, those are some vintage shirts. 2001, San Francisco Pride, okay. This is neat, guys. Oh, okay, this actually might have some value. Made in Wales, UK. Warning, paraffin, blah, blah, blah. Wow, British Coal Mining company wales uk this i mean it could be a reproduction it could be newer but it feels old the shirt's too bad well actually maybe there's a salvaging the shirt definitely some discoloration i think we can get that out some some uh oxy clean or something those lanterns are very interesting mm, i like that what's this just a cover so the lanterns might be possible something put in the live auction if not definitely for the better flea market not going to Stockton is what I'm saying if you guys are new to the channel uh, we do a couple different flea markets one of them is Stockton California that's where we blow out the majority of our stuff but it's not a very high-end market meaning that people out there just don't spend very much money so we bring the stuff that they want which is usually our lower end stuff there's another nice frame it's like brand new another brand new frame Another personal picture, we'll put that aside. And the last thing right here, this, this trunk though is definitely, uh, this is a little bit nicer. I like it. Definitely like that. I don't really buy lockers for trunks. We, we have more strikeouts than we do successes with trunks. I like them. I think they're fun. We definitely have found some good stuff in them, but mostly, usually we don't. So, so I won't spend more for trunks, but I definitely like getting them. I feel like someone else spent, drove the price upon this one because of the trunks though. Okay, what's this? Oh, there's another piece by that same artist, Dawn Swarm. Another piece of 300, that's a matching piece too. I'll put that aside. I'll have to look those up, give them a little special attention. All right, let's see what's in this. Oh, I think there's a TV. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a mounting bracket, I think this is a TV. I think it's wrapped in cardboard. It says HDTV, HDMI. I can't see the brand on it. <laughs> it's a heavy sucker. That's an older one. Oh, it's a Vizio. Okay, it's a Vizio. Yeah, I'll bring it to the market. I'm not going to uh, keep that. So I've got much nicer TVs at home, and I have a couple really nice in my locker, too. I don't, I don't need to keep uh, older, heavy ones. I got some pretty newer, good ones. So. Oh, this has got some weight, guys. This has got some weight. What do we got here? Oh, this is such a nice box, too. Hmm. That might actually be an auction piece because it's so interesting. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. So we got a little one. It's almost like nesting boxes. It's got his address there. This. What's that? It's pretty sharp. Looks like the tip might be off. Very interesting knife right there. What's this one? No Harley Davidson. It's plastic. It's not a die cast. Got some photos here. How to fly the American flag. <laughs> Mike did predict there would be flags in here. It's getting close. A new card right there. A letter. Some greeting cards. 
Okay, what's in this one? <laughs> not what I was expecting. Okay, that is 1998, not as old as it looks. Alright, that guy's supposed to go right there. And I don't think this goes on there. That doesn't look right. I don't think that's supposed to go there. I think it's supposed to be just like that. That's the guy right there that goes, Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime girl. You know what I'm talking about? It's a little arrowhead and some dice. <laughs> that's an interesting uh, find here. I mean, the box is super cool. It's not as old, I think, because the lining makes me think it's not as old. But, mm. All right, we'll put it in the van. Try to put better stuff in the van. Tomorrow I'll be here with the trailer and I'll get the bulk of this out. The trailer's only got a little bit of stuff in it, so it's hungry. Need to fill its belly. What do we got? Mmm. It's household stuff. There's some bags. I'll keep that. Put that right there. Keep the garbage bags. It's brand new ice cream. Hydrogen peroxide. Some paper towels. Compostable forks. And shoulders. Itchy scalp care. And some bathroom products. There's a little uh, bamboo cup right there. It's kind of neat. Another wood cup. Some axe spray deodorant. A, no, okay. I was gonna say there's a brand new. Nope, not brand new. And. Alright, that does that. I might actually keep the paper towels too. I use them in my garage. Okay, next box. Ah, dang it. More kitchen stuff. Food. Pans. Mm -mm. Utensils. This is blankets on it. Could be. And it do be. It do be. Oh, these are nice blankets, though. These ones are nice. I like those. These ones, not so much. Stinky. Alright, these are good, though. Those will sell, for sure. Just not much money. Mm -hmm. Shoes, school supplies, miscellaneous shoe bags, storage, leather pouch. Oh, boy. This did not sound good, either. Alright, guys. Let's keep one thing in mind, and that is that this is the locker I didn't care as much about like if they were not the same owner I wouldn't have even been on this one to be honest I like the trunks I just wasn't feeling it uh, the other one is the one that I got a feeling about so okay, oh, okay. wait a sec there's Denali shoes I don't think those are high end I gotta look inside because we, we had that other storage buyer recently tell us that they found a bunch of money in socks so I'm like geez I gotta check them all now Genuine track footwear. That looks like a pretty, oh, Echo. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, this looks like a pretty decent shoe, Echo. Yeah, it is definitely decent. Echo is a great brand of shoes. What is this? Oh, this is good. Okay, wood pelican sculpture, carved wood piece. Yeah, usually like that might be broken. This might be broken. I don't see any broken. That's great. Definitely an auction piece right there. Put him right there. Okay, he'll be fine, don't worry. Okay, let's see. Ooh, what is that? I think it's an ashtray. Brass ashtray that looks like a little shoe. Cool, anything brass we like. Looks vintage too. Okay, this is kind of funny. Canned in Australia, and it's it's a plush kangaroo. <laughs> they opened it, that was in there. Silly, it's got little stains on them right there, otherwise I'd, ow, that's sharp in there. Um, I'll probably put that aside maybe for an auction, but it's stained up. I saw I'm not gonna keep that. This, this I like. What is this? This is the leather uh, pouch that they said right there. Leather pouch. Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting right here. It's all twisted up. We've got a brass crabby. And what is he? Is he an ashtray also? Yeah. He's an ashtray. How funny. Huh. That's cool. Neat piece right there. Uh, and I like this too. I do. I like I like leather pieces. Anything that looks handmade and with character, that's got it all. Going. That's got it going on, baby. It's got it going on. It's all that and a bag of chips. Just kidding. Just kidding. We don't want any chips. Whoa. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, that's just belts. I don't know why, this just looks painful, but it's just some belts. These are nice though. Hmm, leather. All leather belts. It seems decent quality. We'll put those aside. You might be like, why, Jack? Why? Why put that aside? Uh, when I bring them to the market, there's people that just snatch those leather belts up like as fast as I put them out. So I'll, I'll, I'll save them. I'll bring them to a better market at least. Maybe we'll auction them. Maybe I'll bring them to a better market and ask like five bucks each or something. But I realize that's not a lot of money. But E Topping 1973. It's a print, I think. All right. So far, only one Echo. That's not good. Okay, Kelly's school papers and picks. Sounds to me like a personal box we're gonna get back to the owner. When I say get back to the owner, I mean we're gonna get it to the office. I uh, asked him what happened to this guy. Why did he stop paying? He said, we have no idea. He just stopped responding. There's an old, okay, not quite as old of a yearbook as Mike thought. He said 40s and 50s, I think. And this is 70s. Still old. 81, okay. 81. Some photos in here. All in the family cookbook. That's funny. I'll put it over there to go with the game. Another yearbook. All right, guys. This stuff, I'm just going to get all this back to the office. Got to make sure there's not like any old Dungeons and Dragons uh, <laughs> manuals or something in here. That definitely don't want to miss that kind of stuff. Probably only thinking that because there's a dragon on there. All right, I did find this kind of interesting. It's a, a sticker. Beer, not just for breakfast anymore. Real classy, but it is 1988. So that's a vintage piece right there. I'll put that aside. That's kind of cool. Okay. First aid case, bread box, dad's movie case. That doesn't sound super good either. But here's the hoping. <laughs> here's the hoping. Whoa, wait, wait. This is... That's a neat bread box, though. Okay. Dad's... Oh. Okay, that's not bad either. Hmm, huh. that is a, an old Panasonic cassette recorder. Oh, it's still got batteries. This, usually things don't work, but looks like the batteries have popped in the past. There's a lot of corrosion in there, but these ones are not. These are fresh. Flip that run. Let's see if we can hear anything. Oh my goodness. Papa and Nana's love song for Carly and Tony Galvin. Written and recorded in the year of our Lord, July 27, 2008. And <laughs> there's some lyrics. That is really cool. I think it's cool. Let's rewind it. Let's see if we're gonna hear anything. The, ca the cassette player, well, this is gonna limit the value. You could sell those though, those got some value. Usually they, they have a little decent value. Okay, so here's the uh, first aid kits. That's, that's soap, hmm. light bulbs, bandings. I think there's any wedding rings in here. I didn't think so. I don't really like poking around in this kind of stuff. The box is cool. I can almost guarantee that if, if that sells, someone's going to want the box and ask if they can dump the other stuff out, and I'll say sure, and then just hope they don't dump it on the ground because that's what they do. All right, there's the bread box, and uh, that's a vintage piece. Value? I don't know, guys. It's got nice woodwork on it. It's a decal right there, like a transfer, but... Huh. I don't know. I think I'm just going to take that to Stockton. I feel like it deserves better, though. Oh, oh. Cash box, guys. What? Okay, wait. This is this is a death certificate. Huh. Death certificate, guys. Death certificate for someone. Definitely, I'm going to put that in the get back to the owner box. In just one minute, you are here. Papa can... Yeah. That's sweet. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put these. As oh, this uh, liner in here is like deteriorating, and it's some kind of I think like asphalt shingle, like from the roofing. So it's getting roofing stuff everywhere. You know, I'll take it back. I'm gonna just let that go. To Stockton it must go. To Stockton it must go. Okay, guys. What do we got right here? What do we got right here? <laughs> we got... <laughs> oh, 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 we have a locked box and it is full of something. Full of something. You know we could just pop it. I've got those pry bars right 
Oh, pry bars are right there. We could just pop that right open. Hmm, let me think about that for a minute. Let's get the other boxes first. Okay, a little stool. This right here is uh, for bending pipes, right? It's what you use for electric, electrical, for like conduit pipes, I think. Okay, this. All right. Ooh, yeah, we got some weight on these black and yellows. Okay, guys, ready? Ah, okay, tools. Which on one hand's like, mm. <laughs> it's not stuff I look for, but on the other hand, it's like, yeah. Cause that's the stuff that sells really good at the flea market. So, um, it's bittersweet, bittersweet. That's another really nice ham right there. This right here is, that's pretty decent. Diam alloy, diam alloy, forged steel. That's a nice wrench. And I'm gonna put that aside. I, I think, for some reason, I think that might actually have some value. I'm talking about on the secondary market, right? It's a little torch right there. It's cool. Nice. Fiskers. What's this? It's another drill bit. It's probably an expensive one. Mm. There's an ashtray with the dude's photo on the bottom. Some halogen bulbs right there. Another pry bar right here. That's a good one. Hey, look at those suckers. Black and Decker. Alright. Actually, I barely noticed, but this red tray right here is a Coca Cola tray. And I think that's, I think that might even be more interesting than the, the tools inside of it. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I'll put it aside. I like that kind of stuff. So, I guess we could just use that to open this. We did find some keys though, didn't we? Hmm. Hmm, 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 Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Should I open that now or not? Guys, what do you think? What should I do? Should I open it right now or save it till the end? All right, never mind. I'm not going to listen to you anyways. I'm going to wait till the end. Because maybe we can find the key and save the box. Because how much is that box going to sell for? Probably just like two bucks. Nah, let's open it. <laughs> I'm not putting you guys on. I'm not trying to drag you through it. I really just am indecisive and I make it up as I go. Because it's fun that way. All right, you ready? Let's, let's open this and see what's in there. Uh, not doing the locker, so don't go anywhere. But Ooh, I see some stuff in there. I don't see anything good yet, but... There we go. What the heck? Oh, I'm glad we didn't wait on this. <laughs> no. Wait, what's this? Kelly's pics of San Francisco Bay Cruise for my birthday. What's this? Calendar? Why the heck would you lock this stuff up? Pencil sharpener? What's this? I don't know what that is. No clue. It's brass. But... Alright guys, well that was not exciting. <laughs> it's funny, huh? You never know. Another heavy one, and I think it's tools. Huh, Dremel. That's what it says, Dremel. Okay, it's, it's an odd box. So, you know, I definitely got some tools here. This right here, man, that's probably 20 bucks at the market. No joke. So I kind of like that. Those are good, what do you call them? I forget the name of it. Pipe, pipe vice? No, I forget what the name is. Color, pen. Color pearl china? Oh. It's not that. It's not anything. Drill bits here. Jeez, more decent ones too. Wow. Alright, now Dremel. Yep. Wow, tons of Dremel parts. We got some cool stuff in here. Huh. Look at these. I, I, I do use my Dremel from time to time. Yeah. I don't think I have all the parts that this thing's got though. Some of this stuff is really good to have. I think these sanding pads are great. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just take all this, but I don't really want it. I don't want this big box. Let me just take these. And that. Okay. Maybe I'll take a little more than that. <laughs> okay. This is the cleaning stuff, I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Now we're down to just the black box. Let, let me clear it off and then we'll get in that. I just noticed this thing right here. It says M. Cherry from New York. It's got a little badge on it. That definitely looks nicer. Hmm. I'm having a hard time letting that go at Stockton, but... Alright. Uh-oh. Light. <laughs> it's light, guys. That's not a good sign. 
There's a rubber something. Looks like an air mattress or something. Well, it's not empty. Whoa, holy smokes. Felt empty. It's just, it rolls really easy. Ooh, this is good. Look at this. Howard Miller. Oh, okay. We hang on now. Hmm. It's got some scuffing right here, which is really too bad. Japan right there. But look, you move it, and that's what I think got it going. This is Paramount Parks down there. That does not seem like something. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's battery. I thought it was like, you know, my movement got it going. It's a bad. It's still, that's a nice clock. Okay. I'm not going to try to knock it down too much. Paramount Parks. I'm, I don't. It doesn't feel like a souvenir piece that you get at like Paramount Parks, you know, the amusement parks. Um, could be the, something they give to their employees or something. That's what I would think. That's a neat cutting board. Cutting board or trivet or something. Hmm. Okay. Brand new hat. It's very dirty, but it's got the tag on it still right there. So, genuine merchandise. Women's. It's got that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Giants. Put that aside. That might be an auction piece, all right? How did I think this was empty? This thing stinking stuffed full. All right, this, Japan. Look at these bears. That, that looks like a vintage coffee cup to me. I don't know why, but feels vintage. Vintage-y wear. This is Nordic wear, but it's, it's goofed up right there. This is how we do it. This is the best way to go through stuff. You just transfer. Okay, transfer. Nice funnel. Thermometer in there, it's nothing games. Band-aids, it says. Uh, it's power cords. This is getting interesting in here. Apple charger. I see a knife in there. Okay, let's go through that in a second. That looks like more first aid. Yeah, first aid stuff. Okay, what's this? Oh guys, this looks interesting. Okay, this is, I thought it was empty. I was saving it for the last and then I thought it was empty. And then I'm like, ah, oh, that sucks. And then it definitely wasn't. I'm going the whole gamut here. It's a little tin, but it's got some Asian writing on it. It's a little interesting. Oh, look at all these keys. Maybe the key to the lockbox is in here. Too late. Some buttons. I like the little aluminum canister. That's cool. This is nice. Huh. It's melted right there. It's too bad. China. Never mind. That was the Swiss Army. We remember 9-11-01, United We Stand. It's Las Vegas keychain. It's missing one of the rhinestones right there. Window lock of some sort. Hmm. Okay. Why did I cut that and not just take it off? I don't know. Hmm. Sounded better. We just have found something very inappropriate in here. I, I'm not even sure if it's a photo or a magazine cutout. Because I don't care to look at it. I don't want to look at it again. This grody stuff. Yeah, so anyways, there's a little necklace of boy, I'm, I'm a little like out of it right now, guys. Sorry, there's a necklace of some sort. This is a little bizarre. Oh, it's a magnet, okay, just seems a little clunky. What's this right here? Piece of brass, it looks like it's got a keychain on the inside of it. I don't get that, definitely looks like a keychain on the inside of that. I don't know how that all that works. Oh, hang on, I cracked the code. There's a keychain, or you know, like a clip for your keys, I think, but I don't understand why it's there. What's this? Downtown Las Vegas, a little souvenir piece. Oh, it is a wheat penny. A little stone. Penny. Okay, I thought this was better. Dang it. I don't even know if I'll put that aside. It's, it's nothing. It's just junk. Wait, what's this? Just a coaster. All right, I thought that was more interesting. Not. Okay, back to this. Okay, nice desk lamp. Silicon trivet, it's trivet or something. This is interesting. What's this? Empty. Savers, it was a dollar fifty. All right, looked looked interesting, but whatever it was, it wasn't that interesting. Plastic case, probably more interesting than that. Here's another one. Full body coveralls. All right, that's what that is. Kind of like a. Maybe like a Tyvek suit or something? I don't know. Hmm. Hamilton product. Made in the USA. What's that for? I think it's another ashtray. I think you put your cigarette like right there. These little birds clip it. That's that's a little different. I like the stuff that's different. I've said it many, 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 many times before. I like different stuff. If that's different, I don't like it. <laughs> I'll retract that statement. 
whatever this is, he's got some uh, expensive pillows covering it. Oh boy, what is this? This this is interesting. Okay. Oh, guys. All right, whatever this is, it's a, it looks like a pencil drawing of San Francisco. It's limited to 200. Meeting of East and West California Street at Grant Avenue, San Francisco, 1959. That is interesting, okay? Because uh, it's, I, I want to find some original art pieces, but these are numbered pieces. So, there's another one. Alex Stern, San Mateo, 1984 is when this was. So that's Alex Stern, looks like it's autographed, uh, signed, you know, in pencil, up and down Hyde Street, San Francisco. This one's of 150. Anything numbered, I'm not as impressed by, but it is, uh, it's still cool. It's still cool. It's definitely going to deserve to go to a better flea market and see if we can get a few more bucks for it. A few more bucks. Right. I think that was it. That was it. All right, guys. Eh. 750 bucks. Maybe those art prints got something in them. I mean, I'm, a, I'm going to make money on this one, okay? With all the tools, and yeah, they do well at the market. I mean, I'm probably going to make money on this one. I'll get my money back, all right? So I'm not worried about losing it. I'm just like, mm. this one, you know, this one was exactly what I thought it was going to be. Uh, you know, as far as the level of satisfaction. That's why I wasn't that excited about this one. I just had a feeling, of course, I'm often wrong. <laughs> I'm probably pretty terrible. But uh, when you look at all my purchases and gut feelings, pretty terrible. But uh, this one I was definitely spot on. It, it was just okay. Uh, definitely a few neat items. If I paid 150 or 250 for this one, I'd be pretty happy with it as far as return on investment. But um, still, it didn't have not one piece of gold yet. And um, I think those are the other one. I think those are hiding in the other one. Let's hope, right? Let's hope. So, anyways, guys, the facility is actually closing pretty soon, so it's a good time for me to wrap this up. I'm gonna shove all that stuff back in there. We'll bring a couple things home. We didn't really bring that, take that much out to bring home. So. Me. It's the way it is sometimes. Anyways, I hope you had fun. I, mean, I still love it. I have fun going through the stuff. I'm just giving my honest assessment now that we've gone through it all. It's just okay. It's just okay. But it did have a few cool things. Maybe those art prints are something good, but I have a hard time selling art, so I don't get excited about that. Maybe someday I'm going to find the really big ticket. I, I look, Here's my mess that I made. This is the only real box of good stuff. This right here and the few things that I put inside here. The fridge, I think, is 100 bucks. This, I got to look into this. I don't think it's anything thing but the scuffs right here definitely going to limit the value it's a beautiful piece though i think it's at least 20 25 bucks but uh even with the scuffs but it i've got a clock in my garage that i need to list it's a 500 hundred dollar clock all right so uh this is not that the box there is not as good as i thought it was that trunk maybe 50 75 bucks at the market and then again we have the those things are oh and the old lanterns those lanterns are a little bit interesting and hopefully this is something good i like when i have tons of boxes to bring home and put in our live auctions that's what i like uh this time we don't have that so but we do have some decent flea market stuff and like i said the tools tools sell good they sell quick and they sell for decent money even in stockton um so anyways thanks you guys for watching i'll be back here tomorrow with the trailer this time we're gonna load all this stuff up in the trailer and then start unpacking that new one uh the second one or maybe you could say it's the first one i bought it first we're gonna go through it second that one's the one i got a gut feeling on uh we're gonna see if i'm right on that one and i'm not saying like it's gonna be like a home run locker but i'm, I'm i do feel it's gonna be a lot better than this one i think that's where he has his better stuff i think this is where he threw i don't know maybe like the tools that he had to get into when he's doing jobs and I, I can't figure out the kitchen stuff. But anyways, we'll find out soon, won't we, in the next episode, which will be out soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Lock of Nuts. You guys ready? Are you ready? Ooh, it's exciting. This is the fun part. Opening the lockers is fun. Ah, yes. This is the one I like. All right, do you guys like it? Put in the comment below if you like this one.